El Cedenio, Leguelin Santos, Karani James, they the last three champions. Before that, LaShawn Merritt, Daryl Williamson, all became outstanding seniors, all went on to win global medals. The pole, in fact, won this title 28 years ago. Thomas Jadrusic, 46-19, he won in uh, 1988 in Sudbury in Canada. But eight men here, and there isn't a pole in this final this time. Jeffrey Kipritich, who just gets better with every race, won his heat, he was the fastest qualifier from the heats, he won his semi-final in a lifetime best. There, though, one of the favourites, Carabo Sivanda, semi-final winner in a lifetime best as well, 45.15. Abdullah Haroun, he too a semi-final winner of Qatar, the third fastest junior of all time. Will London, the man who's come through one of the finest 400 metre stables in the world at Baylor, he's a Texan, came through the same coaching system as the former Olympic champion, Jeremy Warner. Kamari Montgomery, a second American finalist, he's in lane eight, and Kazuki Matsukio of Japan is in lane nine. Well, eight athletes will go to their blocks. No Babaloki Tebe, the world number one, who looked supreme last night in the semi-finals until it was discovered he took three or four steps on the line and he was disqualified. But in the absence of that Botswanan, can Karobo Sabanda atone for the Southern African nation? Zambrano in two, Kitadani in three, Kipritich in four, Sabanda in five, Haroon in six, London in seven, Montgomery in eight, Matsukiu in lane nine. The final of the men's 400 meters. Well, the Americans produce so many global 400 meters champions two men there in red out in lane seven and eight london and montgomery looked impressive in qualifying but look at the long stride there of the Katsari haroon and he's being followed by Sabanda. It's the Botswana and the Qatari pulling clear of the Americans. It looks like it's a head-to-head. -head. Sabanda, so impressive in qualifying for this final. Just about has the lead, but he's looking as if he's working hard. Here comes Haroon coming back at him. And Haroon, the third man all time, is going to take this title. The Botswana is fading. And look there, racing through for the silver, is London of the United States. But there's only one man in this final, Abdullahi Haroon of Qatar. In the absence of Babaloki Tebe, he came here as the favourite and he has confirmed it. Just two men have ever run faster than him. One of them, Tebe, the other, the 1988 Olympic champion, Steve Lewis, who ran the world junior record when he won the Olympic title. That is an illustration of the quality of these 400 meter runners. It's world, world class, not just at junior level, but also at senior level. And he's won this by a long, long way in the end. So impressive. The time coming through is confirmed at 44.81. Well, you can see Sabanda really starting to struggle there. And London coming through for second place, 45.27. Now Sabanda's being caught with every stride by Kipritich. But it is Sabanda who gets the bronze medal, but only just with Kipritich coming through for fourth.
Well, what a run. Abdelala Haroun of Qatar. Man who's 19 years old. One of the fastest juniors we've ever seen. And every chance that he will feature at the next World Championships and even the Olympic Games beyond that. Maybe even at these Olympics. London rewarded with a silver medal in second place. Sabanda, so a bronze for Botswana.